My name is Carly and I'm from Richland. When I came to Hungry Gen, my first thoughts were that this is way different than any church I've ever been to and that it was great. Before I gave my life to Christ, my life was basically miserable. Um, I have a lot of hurt and anger and resentment toward both of my parents. My mom was never in my life. Um, she's been in and out of jail due to drugs and prostitution. So I grew up with my dad. My dad was very abusive, mostly emotionally. He did physically abuse me a couple times. Um, so at the age of 14, my dad decided he wanted to put me in foster care. So, and at that point, that's when things got really bad. I felt like my dad didn't love me. My mom obviously didn't love me. She never wanted a part of me or any of her seven kids' lives. She got her, li her, her parental rights terminated to all of us. And so at that point, I was like, okay, neither one of my parents care for me. So I started hating myself. With that came a lot of anger and hate toward people around me. Even people that I cared for, I would be very angry at. Um, so when I entered foster care, because I had all of these thoughts going through my head, I ended up being very angry. I ended up getting in a lot of fights. I got suspended a lot of times. I even got expelled a couple of times. Because all of these things were happen happening to me as a teenager, I never knew how to deal with all the pain, deal with all the hurt I had going on in my life. It translated into my adult life. As a teen, I didn't really know how to deal with all of the issues I had going on, the anger, the hurt. And then one day I just decided I can't do this anymore. I, d I want to I'm done with the heaviness that I have going on in my heart. I'm done with the way my relationship is going. Um, my marriage, I wanted it to get better. So I decided I needed a breakthrough. I need to, I need something else that is going to just take it away, like basically take it away. So, and I believe in God before, so that's kind of where my first turn was. Um, so that night I prayed. I said, God, you know, I am done with this hurt that I have going on in my heart. I need, I need you, basically. I, I need God. I need a relationship with you. And so the next morning I woke up, was looking at life in a new way. Like, you know, things are going to start looking up from here. I'm going to devote my life to Christ. I told myself that day I'm going to get baptized as, as soon as I can. I'm going to start going to home group at Hungry Gen. Um, I'm going to go to every service I can and do just everything I can to make my life how I feel it needs to be. And the only way to do that is through a relationship with Christ. And also last weekend I went to Bob Larson, um, the exorcist, and I received my deliverance. And so tonight I want to get baptized. I want to take the next step in order to show everybody that I'm serious and that I commit my life to Christ. All right, Carly, do you believe in Jesus Christ as God's son and your personal Lord and Savior? Yes. And do you promise to follow him with good and clear conscience for the rest of your life? Yes. yes. <laughs> well, based on your confession, your faith, and your commitment, we'll baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.